Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy here, Shamplu, and I'm here to talk to y'all about the PlayStation Move. Um, I have a lot of stuff to talk about in this video, so uh, you, you pretty much kind of want to stay tuned for this one. Uh, if you want to know about the move and everything, see what I think about it uh, so far. And just to let you know, before I get started, uh, ever since I got it at like 7 o'clock, um, I've been playing it up until now, and it's like 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. Um, and basically, I started playing at my crib, and then I went over to my boy Big C's crib, started uh, playing with him for, uh, for a little bit. Uh, he's supposed to be getting his uh, sometime soon. But, um, yeah, <laughs> let's get this show, uh, show on the road. All right, first of all, we got the showcase, all right? First of all, came in this box, okay? PlayStation Move. Uh, the Move bundle came with the uh, PS3i, the PlayStation I. And it also came with the wand. Wow, wow. Well, the motion controller. I still call it the wand for some reason, but the motion controller. And it came with these two discs. Sports Champions and a demo disc. Now, I played both of these extensively, and it's, uh, they're solid. It's, it's really good. It is really good so far. Okay, first thing I'm going to talk about, you know, I'm not really going to get into the eye and everything, uh, but everything works together, y'all. Like y'all know, a lot, majority of y'all know about that, you know, the whole one to one and everything and the precision. And it is spot on. Like, it is accurate as fuck. It is really accurate. Um, but also, what I did was that I got this the navigational, the navigation controller. This was uh, 30 extra bucks. And it was definitely, uh, definitely worth it. Um, pretty sweet but the thing is that nothing that I had in the bundle required me using that navigation control the navigation control is more for more games that you buy retail for 60 bucks you know uh, such as the upcoming games like Killzone 3 and SOCOM and such but I right, first thing I noticed right away like I just said was the accuracy and the precision of this controller when you're playing sports champions it comes with uh, several games like table tennis, uh, baccarat. It also comes with archery. Um, wow, several things. Disc golf comes with this gladiator dual game, which is damn sweet. Uh, that's probably my favorite one out of them all. And it's it's really it's really good. It's it's like playing your Wii Sports, but I don't know. I, I got into it even more. It also comes with beach volleyball and. Uh, Majority of the games on this disc require you to use two ones, two of these motion controllers. Um, it still works great with just one of them, but there's only one of the games on it that I wish I had the second one for, which I will be getting on Monday with the iPad, with, with iPad. Um, and that's the archery. The archery game is the one I wish I had the two wands for it because it would make it so much fucking so much better uh but everyone you know kind of worry about oh you got to collaborate the uh the motion controller before every game i mean collaborating the motion controller for every game before you play literally takes like two fucking seconds it's like a blink of an eye it, it's not a big it's not a problem at all like it's just like boom boom you're done and, and like seriously, it's, it's that fast. Uh, ball lights up several different colors depending on the game or what you're doing in the game. It'll go a variety of colors and everything. Um, and I was kind of curious exactly what was this going to be made out of and everything. Um, it's um, better than plastic pretty much. It's just kind of, it's, it's very, you know, you can easily squeeze it in and everything. You've got to hit it on the ground and stuff. And actually, when you play the iPad demo, they tell you that, you know, just go ahead and put it on the ground and, you know, kind of tap it on the ground to bring out the iPad, or you can use your hands. Um, but out of all the games that i played, you can play everything pretty much at any uh, lighting at all, period. But the only thing is about the iPad game is that it needed um, 
a decent amount of light. Not too much light, but a decent amount of light. Uh, and the, and the reason for that is because so it can see you and see your hands and everything uh, vividly. Uh, if you didn't have enough light and not too much light, then you had to use a wand for everything. Otherwise, you can you know you can use your hands somewhat and stuff. And um, and also the I Pet game is the only game out of everything on here that required you to put the camera uh, below your TV or at your lowest level or at your TV's base and aim it directly down on the floor so that, you know, the, the monkey can like, you know, run around and stuff on the floor while you're playing it. But everything else, you can put your camera on top of the TV or wherever you want. Um, and it's great. I, I, I've been hooked on it. Like I said, I started playing here, then I went to my boy Big C's crib and we played the hell out of this stuff. And that's when it really got really fun. Is because you know you're playing it by yourself it's like okay you know it's cool but when you got someone else to play these games with like the disc golf when you're throwing frisbees and stuff like that it's dope and uh the gladiator thing is fun as hell too uh you keep progressing through the game and uh that you learn different like special moves and different ways to fight and uh and all the other games are pretty you know straightforward and kind of simplistic uh, such as the uh, table tennis, you know, you would you would expect what uh, comes out of that, and um, in the beach volleyball. Um, so, am I? Do I think I put in a good investment for PlayStation Move? I definitely do. And before I actually get into the um, the comparison with the Wii Mode, I have to say that um, the Motion Bundle this the navigation right here and um, the only reason why I don't have iPad and another Wii Motion uh, I said Wii Motion wow <laughs> that's how much like the Wii right but now the only reason I don't have another motion controller with this right now um, is because I accidentally messed up my order on Amazon and I thought I ordered everything at once, but I didn't. I just ordered this and this. So that kind of stuff. That's the only reason why I have to wait till Monday. But all of that stuff, uh, I didn't pay a penny for. And y'all y'all know what I'm about to say. A lot of y'all have been my subscribers for a while, which is Swagbucks. Um, I use Swagbucks pretty much to, to help show y'all games, you know, the reviews, commentaries, and everything. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not really just about trying to get y'all some more stuff and know about swag bucks. Uh, it's also to, for me to provide more content for y'all. Um, you know, when y'all sign up under me and y'all y'all uh, contribute by just, you know, just searching here and there, it also, it, you know, it brings, it brings me those digital dollars so that I can purchase these games that I've been purchasing and be able to do these commentaries and such and do these, you know, showcases and comparisons and reviews. So y'all yeah, definitely, the link's in the description, check out Swagbucks, y'all should know what it's about already. Uh, but for y'all that don't know, basically it's a, um, it's a search engine that lets you uh, earn digital dollars and in turn you can take those digital dollars uh, just by searching keywords and things like that, anything you want. And uh, you can pretty much buy things off the internet with those digital dollars and it's completely legit i've been doing it for a while and uh a lot of my subscribers have uh been uh putting in their effort to help me out so i can do things like this and showcase for y'all all right but now we're going to go ahead to the comparison all right now here's the week the wii mode and uh the nunchuck okay first thing i have to say is that Holding these in my hand, it still feels comfortable, it still feels good. Now, when I hold these in my hand, I particularly like this better because the, um, I'm about to say the Wii, <laughs> the motion controller molds to your hand. You know, it, it's curved design, it's slick, and you know, you can kind of just grab onto it. Same thing with this. I particularly like the feel of this more than I like the feel of this. First of all, this is much smaller. Uh, it does kind of give that grip there, so you can hold on. But I, you know, I got big hands. You know, 
I, I like the way that this feels. It has the same type of similar style as this. It, it has it's curvier, you know, and it's just really easy to hold on to, and it's it's bigger. It's bigger in size. So you know, if I hold these two together, it's just that much bigger, and it's just that little bit, you know, more length to it. Definitely feels better. Uh, next thing I have to say is about the precision between both of these. I know that you can buy Wii Motion Plus for your Wii, for your Wii Mote and everything, and it makes a better accuracy. But the thing is, is that that's something that came out after the console came out, and it's only certain. It's only certain game specific. I don't really have the need to go out and buy Wii Motion Plus. You know, particularly, I, I really don't. There's only certain games that really require it, and there's no game that I particularly want to play for the Wii that requires the Wii Motion Plus, especially when I don't play my Wii that often. But this is precise as hell. Like, it is spot on. It is crazy how, like, perfect it really moves on the screen. It, it really, it really is kind of shocking. Um, also, the other thing that I, that I love about it is that it's wireless. So, you know, I can, I can be all over the place, you know what I'm saying? It is wireless. I know they probably make Wii, um, you know, controls for the Wii that are wireless. Um, I'm not even sure if it's off-brand or Nintendo actually makes uh, controllers uh, that are wireless either, but the simple fact is, is that um, it didn't come like that. It's not like when Nintendo launched it, they were wireless right off the, right off the bat. Most likely it happened a little bit down the line. But these are wireless standard, you know. That's what I like about it. Uh, the buttons, the face buttons, they're, they're, they're pretty good. Um, they're pretty solid. I, I don't really have a gripe with them. Uh, everything pretty much works pretty well. It doesn't seem like anything really is going to get sti sticky at any time, you know. But sometimes, you know, you grab a controller and it seems like certain buttons as you press it, over time you're like, you know what, I'm afraid that might get like stuck. But it really doesn't seem like that. They got the PlayStation buttons there. Uh, this one has all the face buttons from square, X, circle, triangle. Uh, this navigation only has the X and circle as a D-pad analog. It has L2 and L1. And you only have one trigger here and you have the, the move button. Um, so I'm guessing that this trigger is R2 and the move button is R1. That's just what I'm guessing. Um, that's pretty much my comparison between both the, the motion controllers, the Wii and the um, PlayStation Move. I do like the, the PlayStation Move's controller. I like it better. As a controller, I like it better. Now, the reason why I'm going to go ahead and do a review of the PlayStation News because it's a controller, you know, it's not like a video game where you have to play through the entire video game or majority of the video game just to really get a good grasp of it and see, you know, everything about it, story and all that stuff. With the controller, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. How's your experience with the controller? Does it work? Is it precise? You know, can you use it in different lighting settings? And yes, you can. You can use it in all types of lighting settings. And like I said, ever since I got it, I've been messing with it all the way until now. Like, this thing has kept me hooked. Um, and I really was kind of unsure about it. And even before I started playing with this thing, um, I said to myself, you know, I was like, you know what? The move isn't going to be something that I actually use all the time. You know, I, I figured that I would be using my dual shot a lot more often with games that allowed you to use both, you know? But now, as I use it, and like, you know, I'm... I got the hang of it, I'm like, wow, like, well, maybe I want to try out the move first before I try out my DualShock controller, you know? It, it's really came to that, but, you know, classic controllers, you know, are hard to beat, you know? DualShock, I mean, that's just that's hard as fuck to pick over with this, but this is definitely worth the, I mean, just with this game and the demo of this, it's definitely worth the money, it really is. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, those that I've talked to that have it also, they're loving it as well. Uh, it's, like I said, the bundle was only 100 bucks. This was uh, 30 bucks, and um, I didn't have to pay a penny for it. Like I said, y'all's effort on Swagbus contributes to this channel. It really does. A lot of the games that I've been showcasing to y'all has been due because of Swagbus. Yeah, I guess I will have at y'all uh, at a later time. Peace out.